Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. Frequent and at times heavy rain, of course, has been the big weather headline for the month of July so far. 10 of the first 19 days, we've had quite a lot of rainfall. And for the Hartford area specifically, we're close to 10 inches month to date. And if it were to end right now, be the fourth wettest July since records have been kept. And those date back to uh, 1905. So we're on two tenths of, a, of an inch away from moving into the number three position. We are tracking a couple of showers in extreme northwest Connecticut moving out of eastern New York, Canaan, Norfolk, up around Cornwall and Sharon. Uh, these downpours are diminishing as they work into Litchfield County. Uh, so otherwise, we've got temperatures uh, ranging from the mid 60s to low 70s inland, 70, 75 right now for many communities along the 95 corridor. Today, we had a bit of a, a break from the high humidity. Tomorrow will be rather pleasant, but then the humidity surges to near oppressive levels on Friday, and then it drops again. So at least we're not going to be in a prolonged period of high humidity, which has been a common theme as of late. So uh, currently from our capital city, 73. Still a little bit of some smoke in the uh, sky, reducing visibility just a bit from the Canadian wildfires. Looking live from New Haven at the Pearl Harbor Memorial Bridge, 76 right now in the Elm City and dry from New London where we're right at 74 degrees. So the really muggy, oppressive air has been suppressed to our south and it will stay to our south for one more day and then it will start to make a return again briefly for Friday. So looking at the big picture, We've got the front that moved through last night offshore. That's why today was a bit cloudier. Little wave of low pressure riding by to our south. High pressure will keep us dry for tomorrow. It moves offshore. And then we've got this next storm system that will approach on Friday. That will increase in advance of that, of course, the humidity. And also eventually by Friday, the chance for more rain and even some, some rumbles of thunder. So overnight tonight, we'll call it partly cloudy. 60 to 65 inland, mid-60s along the 95 corridor. And again, any lingering smoke tomorrow should tend to thin out a bit, but still won't go entirely clear, but it will be a brighter day compared to today with highs in the mid 80s inland, 80 to 85 at uh, at area beaches. So here's a look at Friday, mostly cloudy. There's a chance for some scattered showers in the morning, but it's during the afternoon. We could see a couple rounds of rain, some embedded thunderstorms move through. This is fortunately all out of here in time for, uh, again, the upcoming weekend. With regard to how much rain we could see, half an inch to maybe an inch uh, where we get some of these down downpours that develop or especially under any thunderstorms that pop up. But by uh, Friday night, everything is winding down and exiting, setting the stage for our first dry weekend entirely since Memorial Day weekend uh, in late May. Saturday, 84, decreasing humidity, partly to mostly sunny. Mostly sunny on Sunday. We'll start off in the low 60s. That will feel very pleasant. Mid 80s by the afternoon. It's a little bit warmer compared to Saturday. So wherever your weekend plans may take you, and if you haven't made plans right now, you may want to do so to spend time outdoors. Monday, even warmer, plenty of sunshine. And after Friday, it may not be until next Tuesday that we see our next chance for perhaps uh, some isolated showers and thunderstorms to develop. Otherwise, temperatures in the mid and upper 80s through the middle of next week. So generally speaking, uh, once we get past Friday and Saturday temperatures at or above average for shoreline highs this weekend also between 80 and 85 both days so again good time to spend outdoors at area beaches and remember that sunscreen if planning any time outside still ahead for